Valley, I'm meteorologist Jason Fraser. I am anchor reporter Romney Smith. So we are still very new to Northeast Ohio, and we get approached all the time in the supermarket, grocery yep. store, whatever you want to call Airport. it. Airport. Yeah, about, hey, welcome to Cleveland, but how did you guys meet? And you guys are planning a wedding in four months. How does that work? So yeah, we've been I very busy, very, very busy. But we wanted to basically answer those questions for you in this new series that we're kind of launching because there's just a whole lot to get to know us a little bit better. Yeah, I always like to let her explain how we met, and then I like to fill in all of the all of the gaps because we go back and forth. Yeah, you know, she gets forgetful about certain things. Not forgetful, <laughs> but basically, here's the deal: we both go to conferences every year, and there's one in particular called NABJ. That's the National Association of Black Journalists. I went to that conference. So did he back in 2013 in Orlando, Florida. We met at a party. Actually, after the party, we were getting in a ride home to the, get to the shuttle to the hotel. I happened to meet him. We exchanged business cards the following night, and we kept in touch. Email, text, long story short, we both became single again, and then we went on our first date. Okay, so here's what happened though with the first date, okay? I actually wrote her off because <laughs> what ended up happening was I had offered to fly down to Florida because she was fairly new. She was starting at her new station, uh, which is which was called what? Action News Jax, yep. right? In Florida. And uh, bottom line, she was dating somebody at the time and she was like, no, 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 no. It was a slow <laughs> breakup, ladies. You know how that can happen. Yeah, and so I was like, you know what? Fine, I'm done. And then what happened in January, I think it was a week after your birthday, that's when you were like, you know what, it's okay. You know what, uh, I'm gonna actually come up to New York. Right, I And I was in Connecticut at the time, and uh, and we went on a first date. And I will say, you know what, it, it was one of our best dates. It was the best first date I've ever been on. We went to dinner, and I think he'd been out with a few ladies who really wanted uh, lobster and you know steak, and he said, I'm tired of spending money on women who want all this lobster and steak. I'm gonna take Rami to a little Mexican spot, a little hole in the wall, and guess what, guys? I loved it. And then we went dancing, and then we walked around New York City and talked for hours, and it was incredible. Oh, and we can't forget about Mickey Mouse. Remember, somehow you oh, forgot yeah. that you had to pay Mickey Mouse. I, well, in Florida, if you see Mickey, you just take a picture. Apparently in New York, if you see Mickey, you take a picture, and then they want money. I didn't realize that, so he said, Rami, you have to pay them. I said, no, I don't. He said, yes, you do, and I just ran away. So fast forward six months later, we are flying back and forward, yep. and that's when, ladies, you know how this happens. Y'all are like, okay. So what are, what we, are we doing, doing? Here? Exactly. And I said, you know what? It's fine. Not a problem. Let's do it. And for three years, we flew back and forth. A little so more than three years. I know much more about Delta, American, United, and Southwest than I ever thought I would. Uh, we have all three of those major airline cars, and we That's cheat true. the system a little bit uh, because we were racking up points. And it's I not cheating. Say, it's their plan. We're just yeah. playing along with them. But. Keep in mind, guys, we're not talking about long distance. We're talking long, long distance. He was in Boston, he was in Connecticut, and I was in Florida. So yeah. we had to miles. take two planes usually just to see each other. So we did that for a few years back and forth, took a few trips with each other, kept going to that conference that we met at, yeah. and eventually we knew that it had to end. Yeah. Together yeah. in so, the same city. So, and that was right around the time I decided I wanted to start doing meteorology. So, luckily, I was able to get a job at the Fox affiliate in Savannah. Mm -hmm. And then, through a lot of prayer a and lot a lot of, of meditation. Prayer. There were no jobs open for me in Savannah. I cried, I prayed. And then, literally, the day after I thought, I'm going to have to, we're going to have to break up because yeah. I'm going to have to take this other job, the news director emailed me. And I thought, this is a sign from God. Let's move forward. So then I moved to Savannah, and then after two years, we decided we wanted to go to a bigger city. We started applying all over, flying all over, and um, somehow, somehow Cleveland, Cleveland worked, worked out. out. So, and we are so blessed to be here. Yeah. And, and he lived in Ohio before in Columbus. Yeah, in Columbus. And I thoroughly enjoyed myself so much that I decided to come back to Central Ohio. Now, the engagement, uh, I must say, I was a little devious about this because it, 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 well, no, so here's He picked what multiple fights the week <laughs> that we got engaged just so that I'd be mad and not thinking he might be proposing. So here's the thing, at that point in time, we had been dating, what, almost four years? Yeah. Okay, and she was kind of pushing me to say, okay, what are we doing here? And I had said, well, you know, I wouldn't have had you move to South Georgia if that wasn't in the cards. Now, so, y'all, this is serious. I moved for a boyfriend, not a fiance or a husband. So this was major to move my career 
for the hopes that we would get together. And I want you to understand, I had struggled with long distance because, you know, one of my love languages is physical touch. And you can't do that if you're flying back and forward. So I had purposely picked a couple of fights because one of the things that we do every month and one of the things I love about our relationship is we promise to do a new thing yep, every single that's month. That's my New Year's resolution. And this particular month, we had decided to take professional pictures. It's something that I always do in my family. And it's something that Romney's family doesn't Does not always do. do. Nope. So there was one coworker that had said, well, wait a minute, if you guys are going to get professional pictures. She said, you're getting engaged. I said, no, we're not. We got into fights and it's not coming till next year. Long story short, we take pictures with props. He had an umbrella, I had my little microphone. We're taking pictures around Savannah. It's a beautiful, beautiful city. And then he says, look at the sunset, look at the cloud. Let's go up top and get a picture with the cloud. I'm thinking, sure, whatever. This is something weather related, fine. So we go up to this restaurant, ask to go to the balcony. Meanwhile, I had no idea that it was already reserved yep. for us. Yep. So I'm busy saying, we can't go to the balcony. It's reserved for someone, not realizing it was for us. We go outside, he takes a picture with the cloud. Then he says, you should take a picture with the cloud. I'm thinking, I don't care about the cloud because I don't care about weather. You do. He's like, take a picture with the cloud. So I said, okay, fine. I go in the corner and all of a sudden he reaches in his pocket and I just instantly knew he was about to propose. I start instantly bawling my eyes out and screaming, Jason. Ooh. It was a beautiful moment, and then I crouched down to make sure that I could really focus on what he was saying mm -hmm. because a lot of women have told me when you get proposed to you black out. And so I, I kind of crouched down and I was listening to him and it was beautiful and then later he said he cut his speech by like 80 percent yes yes because she was wailing guys okay she was screaming so loud that the people who were below the balcony had stopped to look up because they were thinking that something was going on right and then i'll never forget uh after you said yes uh there were the people who were walking by who kept saying show, show her the, the ring, ring show the ring i'll yeah. never forget that that was so. funny so basically that is our story about how we got together long distance for a little over three years, then in Savannah for two years, and then we just moved to Cleveland a few months ago. So this, in a nutshell, is our story. Yeah. Take us out to dinner. We'll tell you the longer. <laughs> so, and by the way, we have been all over the world, including yeah. Asia. We've been to Mexico. The Middle East. Yeah. So uh, over the next couple of clips, one of the things that we're going to show you is a little bit more about uh, us. And for those of you that don't know, didn't realize it, we are going to be getting married in a couple of months. So yeah. we decided instead of taking a year, we were going to do this in four months. So it literally is going to be a rush to the altar because yeah. quite honestly, I really did not want to be engaged for another another year. Who because says I wanted being to put bored a ring and, on it know, and I wanted to. Why not move to a new city and plan a wedding at the same time? <laughs> so coming up in future clips, we're going to show you what that process is like. I'm going to give you guys some advice on how to handle the whole wedding planning thing. Sure, and ladies, I'll have advice for you too. And look, we're open to suggestions and questions as well. So thank you so much for watching. We will see you next time. Bye-bye.